फिशर प्रोजेक्शन फॉर्मूला इन फिशर प्रोजेक्शन फॉर्मूला वी ड्रॉ टू लाइन्स क्रॉसिंग एच अदर एट नाइंटी डिग्री द वर्टिकल लाइन ग्रुप्स ऑन द वर्टिकल लाइन इज ड्रॉन विद द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट दे आर अवे फ्रॉम द ऑब्जर्वर दे आर अवे फ्रॉम द ऑब्जर्वर एंड ग्रुप्स लाइंग ऑन द हॉरिजोंटल लाइन आर ड्रॉन विद द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट दे आर टू वर्ड्स द ऑब्जर्वर अवे फ्रॉम द ऑब्जर्वर टू वर्ड्स द ऑब्जर्वर राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई राइट ग्लिसरल डी हाइड just give it nomenclature this is number 1 coh because oxygen are there 2 3 and 4 so 1 2 3 anti clockwise horizontal anti clockwise and lowest priority atom is on the horizontal position that means it is r It is. This is R. Glycerol dehyde. Now, let's mirror image. Let's mirror images like this. So it is one, two, three. clockwise and fourth group is horizontal so it is s glycerol dehyde we can manipulate these configurations in a specific way like first rule is if we rotate the whole molecule by 180 if we rotate the whole molecule by 180 then it becomes 180 this it is ch3 coh oh and h because we rotate it by 180 so it remains same its configuration remains same this is a rule number 1 that if we rotate the whole molecule on the plane by 180 degree keep in mind in the plane if we rotate it in the plane by 180 degree its configuration remains same just predict it 1 2 3 4 anti clockwise horizontal so r remains r so this is the rule number 1 that by rotating the molecule in the fisher projection formula by 180 degree its configuration remains same normally generally when we draw the fisher projection formula most oxidized carbon should be at the top and most number of carbon atoms should be at the bottom generally what we do we write more number of carbon atoms on the vertical line and most oxidized carbon at the top and other carbons other carbon atom chain at the bottom rule number 2 any odd number of exchanges leads to the inversion of configuration like if we interchange coh and oh 
it becomes HCH3 remains same. COH, OH we interchange or interchange OH, CH3. or interchange H and CH3 remaining say all any odd number of exchanges I'm doing one exchange you can do any odd number of exchanges then this is we have already done it R these three configuration should be same and all are S. See, one, two, three. Clockwise, horizontal. S, what about this? One, two, three. Anti clockwise, vertical. S, one, two, three, four. Clockwise, horizontal. Yes, clockwise, horizontal. S. So you can see that R changes into S if we do odd number of exchanges. Now, let us do one more exchange. One more exchange. COH, OH. One more exchange. Like in this case, we exchange OH and COH. If we do one more exchange, that become even. This is first exchange. Now we are going to do second exchange. Then keep first exchange intact. Now exchange this CH3H. This is second exchange. Now we have made two exchanges. One, two, three, four. Clockwise and lowest priority atom, lowest priority atom, vertical, so it become R. That means if we do any odd, any odd number of exchanges, then configuration inverts and if we do any even number of exchanges, we get back the same configuration. Like, do one more exchange. This is first exchange, do one more. Earlier we exchange H and CH3. Now, exchange OH and COH. It becomes same. These are now, we exchange OH and CH3, do one more exchange, when we do one more exchange, it becomes OH, CH3, COH, H, it is one, two, three, clockwise and fourth position is vertical, so it becomes R. So you can see if we do odd number of exchanges, configuration inverts and if we do even number of exchanges, configuration remains same. Now, rule number four. Rule number one is, if we rotate the whole molecule, all the group by 180 degree, in 
the plane configuration remains same if we exchange the groups by odd number configuration inwards and if we do even number of exchanges configuration remains same last rule number 4 is if we have this molecule and by keeping one group intact we can rotate other three groups clockwise or anti clockwise configuration remains same for example let us take ch3 intact and rotate other three okay like this oh H C O H. Tell me, it is one. This is R. Already we have done it. One, two, three, four. Clockwise, vertical. R. Now keep C O H at this position and. Rotate other three. Okay. CH same. No. CH three. OH H. One, two, three, four. Vertical. Clockwise. Again R. So keep in mind or remember this thing. If one group is fixed and we rotate other three groups they are equivalent to even number of exchanges they are equivalent to two exchanges at a time so these are the rules regarding fisher projection formula and in fisher projection formula these groups on the vertical are supposed to be away from the observer and groups on the horizontal line are considered to be towards the observer most oxidized carbon is generally at the top and if we compare fissure with the conformations then least stable conformation that is fully eclipsed conformation is fissure projection formula fissure projection formula is drawn with the least stable fully eclipsed conformation and in wedge dash dashed atom in the wedge dash formula flying wedge formula dashed group should be at the bottom thank you very much for watching this video do like subscribe and share my channel god bless you all happy learning